The history of solar can begin only one way, with a focus on the power source we harness. At 330,000 times the mass of the Earth, 4.6 billion years old, and with an energy output measured in exajoules, the Sun is huge. For a comparison, a single exajoule is 277 billion, 777 million, 777,777.8 kilowatts of power which may seem like a lot of power, but keep in mind the annual power consumption for the entire planet last year was around 570 exajoules. If that's not enough to make the nerdiest brain cramp, the sun beams roughly 430,000 exajoules to Earth every single hour. The sun really is our solar system's power source, and it'll continue to crank out this level of energy for around the next 5 billion years or so. Basically, the numbers are really big, and we're nowhere close to exhausting the sun's full, clean, abundant energy potential. The photovoltaic solar panels Nerd Power installs do capture the sun's energy quite efficiently, but how did this technology become so common? Well, the technology is what it is today, because humans have been striving to capture the sun's energy since we began evolving. So let's go back, way back, to see what the history of solar energy really looks like. As far back as 2,700 years ago, when the human population was just shy of 100 million people, we used glass to modify the sun's light into a focused beam for lighting fires and burning images into cave walls. A few centuries later, the Greeks and Romans lit torches with burning mirrors for the first Olympic Games. South-facing construction is nothing new either. Roman bathhouses typically featured a sunroom with massive windows to direct sunlight for the comfort and legal right of all citizens. For thousands of years, Pueblo Native Americans engineered their adobes on south-facing cliffs to capture the sun's warmth during cold winter months and provide shade during the desert's scorching summer apex. Their culture understood, and even celebrated, the power of the sun. As recently as the 1700s, scientists like Sir John Herschel used solar ovens to cook meals for long sea voyages, and his colleagues went as far as designing solar-powered steam engines. But it wasn't until the year 1839 when French physicist Edmund Becquerel discovered the photovoltaic effect, or Becquerel effect, the operating principle of the modern-day solar cell. This discovery eventually led to the first selenium cell rooftop solar array built in New York City in 1884 by American inventor Charles Fritz. A few important improvements in transistors and the introduction of a better silicon cell by Russell Ohl in 1941 meant the technology was advancing quickly, and under the guidance of these three nerds, Bell Telephone Laboratories produced the first silicon solar cell in 1954. In the following year, the first photovoltaic technology was licensed to be sold by Western Electric. The era of modern-day solar panels had finally arrived. By 1958, solar left the confines of gravity for the first of many space applications, the Vanguard 1 satellite. But it wasn't until 1973 that the first photovoltaic residential install was completed back here on Earth. The project was named Solar One, and in 1960, Wisconsin firm Silicon Sensors began the first large-scale silicon-based photovoltaic manufacturing facility. We still take advantage of these initial advancements in solar cell production to this day. During the energy crisis of the mid-70s, the U.S. Department of Energy launched the research facility now known as the National Renewable Energy Laboratory. As the most efficient government building constructed to date, it was assigned with the mission of developing solar technology the general public could afford. Even the White House got some nerdy solar attention under Jimmy Carter with the commissioning of 32 panels over the East Wing in 1979. After this, solar popped up on everything. The first solar airplane took flight in 1981, spanning the English Channel from France to the UK by one Paul McCready. Hans Stolstrup drove the first solar-powered car, Quiet Achiever, 2,700 miles across Australia in 1982. Solar then shot for the stars yet again in 2000 with the upgrade of 32,800 solar cells tethered to the International Space Station. And it may have taken a few decades, but in 2016, the U.S. welcomed the installation of its one millionth residential solar installation. The efficiency, technological advancements, and even the look of solar are all improving rapidly as the world awakens to the abundant, clean, zero-maintenance energy the sun offers. From Spain to Dubai, from China to India, Megawatt-scale plants are powering the lives of millions of people, and roof-mounted systems are helping millions more around the globe. Even so, solar currently accounts for only 1% of the Earth's total energy production. 
which is why the reduction and production solutions Nerd Power offers are here to guide our planet toward a 100% solar harnessing, energy efficient, clean, and nerdified world. And now you know the past, present, and nerd power of solar energy. Nerd Power. Now that's smart. <laughs>